So we've been told that router 1 is not able to ping router 3. And we can see that once again, that's true. Show IP route shows us that there's a problem with routing on this router. Notice no routes except connected routes and local routes are displayed in the IP routing table. Show IP protocols shows us that we are running a routing protocol, but there's a problem because BGP only has connected routes in the BGP routing table. We don't see this route. We don't see this route or this route in the BGP routing table. So show IP BGP summary. Can you see the problem? Notice the relationship to 10.1.1.2 is idle. If we don't have a relationship to that router, we won't learn routes from that router. So can we ping 10.1.1.2? Yes, we can. So there's IP connectivity to that router, but we don't have a neighbor relationship that's working. So on router 2, show IP BGP summary. This router is configured in autonomous system 65002. This router, router 1, is in an autonomous system 65001. So can you see the problem? This router is in autonomous system 65002, but on router 1, it's configured as autonomous system 65001. So router 2 is correctly configured to use this autonomous system number when talking to router 1, but router 1 has the wrong autonomous system number. So show run section BGP. The wrong autonomous system number is configured here. So router BGP 65001, no neighbor 10112. We need to configure this neighbor in remote autonomous system number 65002, not 65001. So show IP BGP summary. Notice the state is established. If you don't see anything under the state, it means it's working. And we can verify that by using the show IP BGP neighbors command. Neighbor relationship to this router is established. So that's better. Show IP BGP. We've learned about the loopback of router 2. We've also learned about this network. So we can ping the loopback of router 2. We can ping this IP address, but we can't ping 10122. So there seems to be a problem between router 2 and router 3. On router 2, we can see that we have a established relationship to router 1, but the relationship to router 3 is idle. Can router 2 ping router 3? Yes, it can. But there's a problem to the neighbor. Now, why aren't we seeing logging messages on the console? Notice if I search for logging, I can see that no logging console has been enabled on the router. That was done on purpose so that you didn't see these log messages. Now that I've enabled that, we can see a lot of output. Notice neighbor, active reset, peer closed session. We're getting BGP notifications telling us that there's a problem with the neighbor relationship. Notice here, peer in wrong AS. So we know that there's a problem with the autonomous system number that's been configured. That autonomous system number is 65,003. So notice this hexadecimal number equates to 65,003. But if we look at the BGP summary information, this router has been configured to use autonomous system number 65002 when talking to router 3. On router 3, show IP BGP summary. Notice the autonomous system number is 65003. It's correctly being configured to talk to router 2 using this autonomous system number, but the AS number is wrong on 
router 2. So I'll disable logging to the console so that we can see what's going on. Show run. And I'll search for BGP here. Router BGP. This is correct. That's router 1. But this is wrong. So router BGP 65002. No neighbor. 10122. Neighbor 10122. Remote AS should be 65003. Show IP BGP summary. It still shows idle, but notice now it's established. Show IP BGP neighbor 10122. Neighbor relationship is established. So show IP route. We are learning this route through BGP. So ping quadruple three. We can ping the loopback of router three from router two on router one. We can ping the loopback of router three. Show IP route. We see the routes in the IP routing table. So we see this route. We also see this route in the IP routing table. Show IP BGP. We see the routes in the BGP routing table. We can see as an example that this route was advertised to router one from router two. It originated in autonomous system number 65003. It traversed through this autonomous system to get to us. But I'm happy with that. We've been able to successfully fix the network. As an example, router three can ping the loopback of router one and can ping router one's ethernet interface. And router one can ping the loopback of router three and router three's ethernet interface. So were you able to complete the lab? It's important that you understand BGP for your CCMP route and CCMP T-shoot exams.